All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be covering high durability tire dressings and trim restoration products. I'll tell you what, I stumbled across this company. I'm not disappointed one bit with it, so you're gonna be excited. Let's stick around and let's see what I got. All right, so we brought in a product black from a company, D3 Renew Pro. I'll tell you what, this stuff is gnarly. It's not just your typical tire dressing or, or something you're gonna put on the tire and have it just fling off. It's not oily, man, it's not slick at all, actually. I'll tell you what it is, though, is it's a proper coating. I mean, this says ceramic infused. I'm telling you, this is a proper coating. <laughs> with that being said, it comes with some very short directions, very short, just a couple lines. But I'm gonna tell you right now, partner, if you don't follow these directions, you're gonna find yourself in a world of trouble. <laughs> so essentially what it's asking is when you apply the product, apply it on, give it a five full minutes to dry because if you try to reapply on a not dry first layer, you're gonna be dragging around that first layer just making a mess. So there was a little bit of a learning curve for me when I used the product, but I'll tell you what, overall super easy and killer results. Let's take a look at what we did today. So there's the before tire, super brown. It's gonna require some washing. We'll hit it with the brake buster, give it a good scrub with our tire brush, and there's that browning. We gotta keep going. One more layer, some more scrubbing, some more browning. I'm gonna keep going until all the browning is gone, wash after wash. I wanna apply this to an extremely clean surface. Prep is key with this product. So I keep going, I keep scrubbing. Rinse it, we're getting there, we're almost there. One more coat ought to do it. So I'll give it a good scrub. I don't see any browning now, we're good and clean. But let's uh, go ahead and rinse it off really well. Get our master blaster out. We want the tire to be really dry. We want it super dry for this. All right, here it is, the black onto the applicator and this stuff is black for sure. Now I start putting it around and I realize, okay, so I didn't put enough on the applicator originally. I should have put a little bit more and did a lot longer strokes on this, but that's all right. I'm gonna come back and hit it, overlap where I uh, put it on the last time slightly and work my way around the tire. Just being careful not to drag any product around that's already starting to set up. If I had it all to do over again, I would have done one nice thick coat right off the bat. Not too thick, we don't want high spots and streaking, but we want enough product to make our way around there. So this is what it looked like. I had a couple spots I missed, a couple high spots, a couple low spots, so of course we're gonna do a second coat. That's required anyway, at least for the first application. So now I've learned some from the first one. I put a little extra on there, I'm making my way around, but I don't want this stuff dripping all over the rim, so be careful with how much you put on. I'm just trying to, to bring you along for the ride, what I'm thinking here. Make sure I get down in all those cracks, all those logos. Continue to work my way around the tire, trying not to go over the spots that have been setting there for, you know, 30 seconds or so already, and just keep moving along. I'm realizing right here, this is a proper coating. This is actually going on the tire, penetrating the tire, and making a surface coating on there that's gonna last. It's not oily, it's not slick, it's just on there. It's got a little bit of a shine to it for sure, but I'll tell you what, look at that. This stuff is gonna last. It says three to four months or so with a daily driver, up to a year with a car that doesn't get driven that much. So it works so well on the tire that I thought to myself, I gotta try it on some trims because that's what this stuff is all about. Restoration of faded black stuff back to like new condition. And I'll tell you what, the tire is looking amazing. So check out this mirror. This thing has been hammered and I've tried a lot of different products on it over the years. And you know what, they last a couple weeks, maybe a month, and they don't even look that great from the get go. But I'll tell you what, if I can get the way that tire looks up onto this mirror, we got something. So let's take a peek at it. As soon as I look at this mirror, I think to myself, all purpose cleaner and a good microfiber towel, let's get that thing totally cleaned up because a clean prep surface is required on this product. Don't forget about that, it's an important step, always. 
So right after I get it cleaned up, I get it, the product layering it on there and I'm thinking this stuff looks amazing and I want to tell you what I was thinking. You just have to get it on in a nice consistent manner. Get it the self level on there. You want full coverage, no high spots and no low spots either. So that's kind of the goal. Get yourself in a position where you can look at it, apply it, let it dry for five minutes. Five minutes is the key. If you don't let it dry for five minutes, warning right here. If you don't let it dry for five minutes, I'll tell you what, you're gonna be sorry, trust me. <laughs> Give it the full five minutes, put it on, and uh, catch all those spots you missed and start knocking down those high spots. I give it the full five minutes, I hit it again, this time trying to address any spots that didn't soak in properly or, or maybe wasn't uh, to my liking. Now you can do as many coats with this product as you want. You do have to be careful because it's actually a surface layer that's layering on there. So um, you don't want it to be a quarter inch thick when you're done, but the same token, we want good coverage and, and a consistent look to it. And that's what we're starting to get. I'm realizing now with the self leveling on this product, I don't have to get too crazy with the application. I just need to get it knocked down reasonable and uh, it's gonna come together nicely. Just make sure you get the entire surface too. Okay, so it looks like we're just one coat away from being done here. Now I'm just uh, making sure that we got a nice even coat. It's going kind of thin now. These last couple coats don't need to be as thick as the first ones. And I'll tell you what, look at that. That is a true restoration. This is not just a surface product that's gonna wear off. I guarantee it, this is gonna be around for a while. Wow. The mirror turned out insane. That looks amazing. I'm interested to see how long it's gonna look like that, how long it's gonna last. I think it's gonna go the long haul. I haven't come across a surface coating like this yet uh, for these type of materials. And I'll tell you what, I'm excited about it. So first thing I start thinking, you know how I am. I come back into the garage and I'm like, what other black plastic looks terrible that I can put this stuff on. <laughs> so right away I'm out there thinking, I can put it on the uh, MTM foam cannon. And I'll tell you what I did, and look at it. It looks brand new. It was faded, I mean look at the shine on that thing. It looks back to brand spanking new. Um, so that's awesome. I applied it to both the nozzle and the adjustment knob. There we are, we're back to new. So I started looking around again and I started thinking, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Calm down a little bit. Let's let everything settle in and see where we're at. <laughs> With that being said, I do plan on coming back and doing some uh, videos to show the mirror, show the tire, show everything that I've hit with this stuff. I got some plans for my motorcycle tires, some other stuff, and I want to see this stuff rock and roll long term because if, if it does a good job, it's a great product. So I'll leave links to everything I use today down in the description. You guys always know I appreciate that. That supports the channel when you purchase stuff through the links. And um, if you haven't subscribed, there it is. You know you want to. Just get it over with. <laughs> All right, so Black from Renew Protect D3 is an awesome product and I'm looking forward to using it in the future. And um, I think it's worth you guys checking out too if you need this sort of thing. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, that stuff's pretty darn cool, and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah!